Hey guys, just a couple of weeks ago, we uh, had to do an oil change on the airplane. And uh, one of the things we do a lot of times, we do oil changes of bore scope. And this just happened to be a milestone for our plane here, Caddy, our fans RV9A. That milestone is 1,000 hours on the engine. We have a Lycoming IO320, 160 horsepower, fuel injected engine. The video that you're gonna see here, a few minutes of uh, each individual cylinder that what the bore scope showed. We'd love to have your comments, so drop those comments down in the comment section. Tell us what you think, especially if you're an aviation mechanic or uh, you see something of interest. Uh, we obviously would be very interested in anything that you would have as a comment. So here we go. We're going to roll the tape. Thanks. Cylinder number one, top of the piston. Around the edges. Some lead on the mm -hmm. top of the piston. All the way around, looks pretty good mm -hmm. just for the lead. Mm -hmm. All right, here's the first valves. Looks good, no burned edges. Even looking. Even wear. Yeah. Same thing over there. Very even looking. Let's settle in there good. This is still cylinder number one. Everything looks good in between the cylinders. Don't see any cracks. little uneven color on that one. That one's pretty even coloration mm -hmm. around it. Mm -hmm. Generally looks good. I think that's maybe the oil that I've just noticed that when we touched it a while ago. I don't see any cracks or anything between them. The piston looks like the rest of them. Wow, that looks really clean. It looks a lot cleaner than something number three for sure. Mm -hmm. No uneven colors. Same thing there, no mm -hmm. uneven coloration. Hmm. There's some lead deposits on the head in there. That looks really clean, too. Yep, even wear on that one. Mm -hmm. This is number four. Cylinder number four, Lycoming, fuel injected, IO 320. Still see the cross hatching in the cylinder walls. That's a good huh. sign. 
always a good sign. And there you have it guys, that's the interior of our cylinders on our uh, Lycoming IO320 in our Vans RV9A. Everything looked good at 1,000 hours. Had a few little areas of discoloration. There's obviously some lead deposits, 1,000 hours of running 100 low lead gasoline. We'll give you that. We should be basically halfway through the life, of the average life of a Lycoming. We appreciate you watching and we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up, make comments in the comment section, especially if you're an aircraft mechanic and you saw something of interest or something of concern, we'd love to hear about it. And also we'd love for you to hit that subscribe button up here or the subscribe button down there. We need a few more subscribers. Thank you.